right, good evening. PA Figs here. Um, so if you haven't noticed something a little bit strange already with this video, I recommend that you've either not eaten recently or don't plan to eat recently. If you're on a diet plan and struggling, it might be a good video. Anyway, this is what spotted wing drosophila is with figs. I've heard a lot of people that uh, never realized that their figs were affected. More than likely, they've had it and just... You know, the uh, figs they've had that have spoiled, they chalked up to ants. Because I, I do get that every once in a while, where ants will get in and spoil a fig as well. Um, I found, though, that when I went away from vacation and wasn't here to maintain the orchard as much, and I had figs overripen, drop, spoil, split, you name it, these little guys really exploded in numbers. Uh, since then, I've been managing the orchard better and picking up fallen figs, anything that's cracked or eaten halfway or anything gets picked up. A lot of the fallen leaves were picked up and I reduced some of my watering to uh, not have things as wet. And it's made a big difference, but I still have, I don't know, probably one in every 50 figs that uh, gets infected by the spotted wing pretty badly. So this is a Chicago Hardy fig and you can see all the creepy crawlies. I'm going to do my best not to gag while I do this, but depending on what stage of the life cycle they're in. These guys weren't on here when I put this bag in, which makes me think they hatched inside this fig. So it'll be curious to see if there are any larvae still in it. And you can see there's ants in here too. The ants don't really bother me. Um, I'll put down coffee grounds to get rid of the ants and they bring that back to their nest and that seems to take care of most of them. All right. That was another ant trying to get away. So there should be at least ants in here, but let's see what other yummies might be in here. All right, so the fig is very spoiled. You can tell it's it's watery, and if you could smell it, you would certainly be able to smell the over sweetness of it. Um, now, surprisingly, I don't see any uh, spotted wing larvae in here. Actually, they're might be a couple. Let's see if these are them. Oh yeah, there they are. There they are. Can you see them? Let's see. Come on camera. Focus. I know, I don't want to look at it either, but for educational purposes. Come on, you can focus on that. Alright. See them? Can you see them squirming around right there? Hopefully you've seen them by now. If not, let me see if I can get my knife. Alright. So, you should be able to see them. So I do this without stabbing myself. Okay, there's one right there. There's actually quite a few of them. Here's another one in here. Let's see if I can get one out. See that guy squirming around in there? Now, let me see if I can separate one. I'll come back to the video here. Hard to do while I'm staring at the camera lens. Alright, there we go. So, here is a spotted wing Drosophila larvae. Pretty freaking gross. So when these guys infect your figs, this is what you end up with. These nasty buggers inside of it. Now, so what you say, and I agree with you. These are not going to hurt you if you eat them. You're not going to come down with some alien scene where some large insect hatches from your chest. It's uh, just going to add a little protein to your meal. That being said, some people will be utterly disgusted, and I don't blame them. Um, if you've come across a fig and it's squishy, and not like the normal squishy with like jelly inside, but squishy like a water balloon... Chances are these guys have already been in there, either hatched and flown away, or there are more. So, 
would not recommend eating them. Um, it will add a little bit of action to your meal, but not something most of us want to chew on. I don't know. I bet you Harvey or Tom from New England Gardening would probably say they're cute. Uh, maybe not. But anyway, that's what the spotted wing Drosophila larvae are. And the spotted wing Drosophila, they they use a pincer and get through. Oh, now it's saying hi. Now, now it's just trying to be cute. No, no, you're ugly. I hope you die. Anyway, uh, yeah, so they'll actually go up to your fig. They'll cut it open and they'll lay their eggs inside of it. And then their, leg, their eggs will hatch into these larvae, which will then form into more spotted wing Drosophila. And the life cycle continues. So, good orchard practice, cleaning up spoiled figs, not giving them breeding ground. Um, I've been spraying with uh, spinal sad. Haven't really seen that make much of a difference, to be honest with you. I think the good orchard care really does more than anything. The spinal sad may help, but it certainly hasn't taken care of them. And I've sprayed every tree full coverage up and down, and I've sprayed them three times within 15 days. And doesn't really seem to do the trick, so. All right, well, I hope you're all fully disgusted. If not, uh, let's see, let's check the other side of the fig. Maybe that'll finish you off. Uh, I, don't know, I don't see any squirmies in here. Oh, there's some. Can you see them? Not real active, but he's in there, chewing away, growing, getting ready to hatch. Alright, well, this is PA Figs. I'm gonna go throw up. Bye.